Hey y'all, it's meteorologist Erica Lopez on this Saturday. So we have a special tropical update as we have the latest from the National Hurricane Center. Tropical storm Milton has officially formed in the Gulf of Mexico and the latest track takes it to Florida by midweek. So let's show you where exactly this track is taking it and when you can expect impacts uh, for Florida. So as you can see, the latest National Hurricane Center update has it as a tropical storm. Now this is a quickly evolving situation. Earlier this morning, we had high chances of tropical development. It was a tropical depression 14 now has been upgraded to Tropical Storm Milton. Again, it is located uh, across the Gulf Coast and right now has maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour. And so we are expecting its movement towards the east. And as you can see from the National Hurricane Center's cone, we are expecting it to make landfall as a category two hurricane somewhere along Florida's west coast. Now the cone does include areas from Tampa, Southwest Florida, Orlando, and even Florida's east coast. So we're expecting impacts as early uh, as Tuesday night into Wednesday making landfall sometime on Wednesday as a category two hurricane. Tropical storm force winds could arrive as early as Tuesday night, impacting Florida's west coast. And eventually, I don't want to rule out central or even Florida's east coast. Impacts could stretch well into these areas. And I know we already had a hurricane hit parts of Florida. And so it looks like the track will take it a little bit south from those areas that are still recovering from what was Helene's. Now, forecast models are not in agreement exactly on where uh, Milton will head, but what we do know is it'll make landfall somewhere along southwest Florida. Could be a little bit north of the Tampa Bay area, Tampa Bay area, or even southwest Florida. So we're watching this track very closely. Again, it's still days out. You still have today, tomorrow, and even the early week to prepare for a landfalling hurricane across west, central, and even the east coast of Florida. Now let's talk about the intensity models. You can see here on your screen, most of the intensity models have it as a category two hurricane. Some of it are not ruling out category three or four. Again, the National Hurricane Center's track has it as a category two hurricane. Now it is in a very favorable environment for its strengthening. You can see here, warm sea surface temperatures. We've been talking about that all season long. So it's tapping into that warm water. That's why it has quickly evolved and even a very low shear environment. And so that'll continue as it heads to the east, all thanks uh, to an upper level trough that's actually going to steer it towards Florida and pretty quickly as we head towards the beginning of the week. Either way, impacts uh, remain the same. We've been talking about this earlier this week. Heavy rainfall, anywhere from four to eight inches. You can see one model suggesting we could see up of upwards of 10 inches of rainfall, even from Southwest Florida all across Florida's East Coast. So rainfall is a given for this storm. Wind impacts as well. Hurricane force winds along Florida's Gulf Coast and of course tropical storm force winds that could spread um, even to North and South Florida. So expect all of those impacts. Now, along with the rain and wind, we're also expecting storm surge along Florida's uh, west coast and possibly even across Florida's east coast. And of course, we cannot rule out the potential of seeing tornadoes with this. We're going to continue updating you all across the social media platforms and throughout the rest of the weekend. So follow us on here and of course on My Radar. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android. Amazon Alexa and Windows.